Bridget. You really need to get your priorities in order. That macaroon recipe excuse wasn't exactly your best one yet, Marinette. Adrian. <sighs> Wait, is this why you bake a single macaroon every Sunday? Listen, Marinette, I know everything may seem a bit strange to you. <laughs> okay, if that makes you feel safer. Do you humans always celebrate your birthday? By going to the dentist? Alia must not find out who you are. You know how persistent she can be with her blog mm -hmm. totally dedicated to Ladybug. Do you want me to go back and fetch some more sugar? Chloe speaking in the third person totally annoying. So, basically, the only way you can have a normal conversation with him is if you're blindfolded. Pretty much. My honor is the best Ladybug I've ever served. I could take a photo right now and post it online, but that would be too easy. Tiki spot! Don't even think about it. Ugh. Mommies don't fall in love. No! <laughs> uh. Meow. Oh no, this is terrible, Pat. How are we going to be able to find our owners? Everybody looks exactly the same. Hey, I think I might have an idea. You underestimated Cat Noir's love of macaroons. You do realize that you just blathered on to Adrian about how you think he's awesome, don't you? He touched my shoulder. I'll never wash my jacket again. Girl, you have got to get better control of your emotions. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What if this doofus has actually fallen in love with me? For what? Seconds? Is that all his love for Ladybug is worth? Just one tiny declaration of love and that's it, poof, he changes his mind? Uh, since you and Ladybug are the same person, he didn't exactly change his mind. There's been a little mix-up with the Miraculous. I'm Tiki, pleased to meet you. Yes, but how exactly is Ladybug going to crush this crush when you're going on a date with him as Marinette? I'm not a thing. I'm... Huh? I don't know what I am. <laughs> Video deleted? <gasps> I didn't just do that! Tell me I didn't just do that! You didn't just do that! Ah! Okay, you did just do that, but Felicia didn't drop it! You want to put Adrian in a soup? So what lies did you tell your owner in order to sneak out tonight? Actually, I just told her the honest truth. Oh, maybe I should try that someday. See what it's like. Plague, you should have saved some for the others. I know you don't want to tell me because you don't want to hurt my feelings, but it's obvious you don't oh. like it. Just let your heart do the talking, and as long as it is filled with love, you can't go wrong. Whoever is behind all of this sure is keeping us on our toes. <laughs> but you don't have any toes. Ah! Help! It's a giant bug! A, a mouse! A, a bug mouse! Everything's okay. Don't be scared. It's... Calm down, Marinette. <laughs> you still have time. It's not like he's going to show up this very minute. <laughs> Marinette! Someone's here to see you! Uh, coming! <laughs> you may not remember who you are, but at least you know this about yourself. You're a selfish being and a total coward! What a unique character. He was like a human bird. All he needed was a feather jacket to complete the look. There's a ritual we Kwamis perform on a day like this. Oh, really? That's nice. But I don't know if you humans would like it. I wonder if you guys even give each other presents on your birthday. Oh, really, Tiki? You got me a birthday present? A Kwame specialty. Oh, that's so awesome. What is it? <laughs> oh. Miraculous birthday marinette! Hey, sugar cube. <sighs> I already told you not to call me that. Do you ever hear me calling you Stinky Sock? No, but you should. That would be delightful, Sugar Cube. Oh. Just saying, it's better in the long run to do it right the first time. Oh, uh, what is it? A Quagatama! A great symbol of friendship among us Kwamis. We take a hair from our Miraculous Holder and join it to the hairs of all the former Miraculous Holders. And with them, we grow a magic resin for a few months and... And yet again, Marinette hopes she'll finally have enough time to complete her magic box. What's the magic box for, Marinette? To lock up my diary and all my secrets. Every little secret? You're telling me that you write everything down in that thing? Uh, yeah? Something wrong? Well, for one, what if someone finds out your ladybug? And two, what if someone finds out your ladybug? Oh, come on, that's not funny. <laughs> 
be totally right. It is not funny. The box has become just like you, full of surprises. That's amazing. Thanks, Tiggy. Hey, Marinette made that for me. <laughs> Pinch me. <laughs> Dad, not literally. <laughs> Maybe it would help if you took off those silly mittens. <laughs> oh. Miraculous birthday, Marinette. <laughs> You're the chosen one. Marinette, you're a superhero, not a star. You're a great designer, Marinette. Besides, if your hat was so ugly, mm -hmm. why did Gabriel Agreste handpick it for his fashion show? He might not be here, but that shouldn't stop you from enjoying a yummy ice cream and a fun night with your friends. And you could give me a taste, too. And Dear Adrian. Dear Adrian. I'm no good at this love letter writing thing. I sound like a total Dorkasaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Only when you say words like Dorkasaurus. I'm giving you advice. Now take it. Don't make the same mistake twice. Everything's gonna be okay. It is? But yeah. Besides, it's too late anyway. The show's live. Oh no! This is a disaster! <laughs> You know, Plague would travel for miles just to sink his teeth into good cheese. <laughs> this is all because of your cheese addiction. <laughs> Never seen the sensitive side of Cat Noir before. Yeah, 